Do you have a minute for God? If you're a follower of Christ, please copy the link and share this video to plant the seeds of the gospel to save more souls. James is reminding us that our God, he cannot be tempted. He cannot sin because he's righteous, holy, and pure, found in James chapter 1, verse 13. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself does not tempt anyone. We're living in a world that's filled with corruption, sin, evilness, temptation is all around, and it can lead us to value things like money, power, status above our relationship with God. Temptation, it can take form of greed, lust, pride, envy, anger, and our sinful nature towards things, towards those things because of instant gratification and the pleasures of life, which is temporary, at, often at the expense of our walk with God. Every one of us have been tempted. Even Jesus was tempted during his time on earth, but he resisted the temptation and showed us that we can do the same through his teachings and example. Jesus teaches us that we can overcome temptation through faith in God, through the guidance of the Word and the power of the Holy Spirit to resist the temptation. It's so easy to fall into the blame game by pointing fingers at others and pointing at God for their shortcomings, blaming people so that they avoid taking responsibility for their own actions to justify their own behavior. And although it's James is just talking about blaming God when we, think we are tempted, but this principle can be applied in every other life scenario. The blame game can be harmful because it prevents us from taking ownership of our own actions to make a positive change to the situation, to our, the way we behave, the way we talk, the way we think. It can create conflict and damage relationships, making others feel insignificant, disrespected, and unimportant. That's why we don't want to blame others and take ownership instead and change. Let God change us from the inside out. And our God, He cannot be tempted, He cannot tempt others. He does not wish evil on you, nor does He wish to trip you up. Our God does allow you to be tested to strengthen your faith, but He never tries to induce sin or destroy your faith. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to to grow in maturity, to protect you, to equip you with the tools you need to face the temptations of life. So let's rely on God's strength and His grace. Put our trust in Him to overcome the temptations of life. If you want to grow and walk with the Lord, I invite you to declare Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to choose to follow Him, to have a relationship with Him. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you feel like you've been blessed, please follow Pastor Josh Penn. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Greater things are yet to come. I'll glory to God and many blessings.